Welcome to another video lesson from the book Pass CAPM in 21 Days, the Ultimate Study Guide. It goes very well with the supplementary book called Mastering Attitudes and Keyword. Hi, today we're going to be talking about Agile. So let's get started. In the next one hour or so, we're going to understand what is Agile, why and what happens when we talk about Agile roles, uh, how the planning for Agile projects going to happen. What are different events and artifacts specifically for Agile methodology called Scrum? I'm also going to walk you through how do we estimate in case of Agile, uh, you know, time boxes. So what is Agile? The, um, there are some people in the initial days, these people get got together and they said, let's be Agile instead of fighting over processes and tools because IT software is so um, easy to change we can do control Z nothing no destruction and we should be able to follow uh, whatever customer want so it's easier to change um, so all the developers came together and said we don't want a project manager who's wasting time in creating so many documents um, fighting over change management instead of that why don't we collaborate with our customers we work with individuals and we give value to what they want instead of talking about change request and talking about how to file change request we would be rather making a software which is working rather than putting our time in making manuals for the software um, we work with customer to make them happier uh, we collaborate with them rather than talking about contract negotiations and we respond to change rather than following a plan so um, that's what they said and it, the agile manifesto was bought in um, so these are the items which are much more um, preferred over the items here um, in the agile manifesto you can go to agilemanifesto.com and then can see uh, the things yourself search for agile manifesto it is either .com or .org you should be able to get to the url so that's agile uh, manifesto and it has 12 principles so i would urge you to go ahead and see the 12 principles as well uh, let's talk about time box what is a time box a time box is a previously agreed period of time during which a person or team works towards completion of some goal um, when the time box reaches that means if you have a time box of two weeks if you finish the two weeks we do not extend the time box if the work is not done we say let's see what what is achieved in these two weeks and then take it from there so there is some kind of closure here at the end of time box we close when the time limit is reached we evaluate was what was accomplished now how is time box different than the normal way of planning so let's talk about you know um, how do i plan for predictive projects i would have scope i would say let's make a car which runs on water blah 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 and then i would say okay with this scope of work how much money it's gonna take so how much money and how, what is the schedule how would i come out with when would i come out with this kind of car so we pick the entire scope we think about how do we deliver should we deliver in phases but each phase how much time should we be able to deliver how much money it's gonna take and then we think about resources and so on so everything is based on schedule um, now in case of agile we don't say this what we say is let's take a time box of and the most um, used time box is two weeks so we say okay le let's take a fixed time of two weeks here is the scope which customer has expressed but we don't estimate for how much time it's gonna take we say this is our time box these are fixed two weeks fixed time and then within this time how much work can I do so based on the fixed time 
I estimate for the work or I estimate for the scope of the work to be done within these two weeks. Um, so time is fixed and in general resources are also fixed. So I would have a predefined set of resources which is somewhere around 7 plus or minus 2 as per scrum methodology but you can have a thin and lean team. So um, based on this time box we estimate for how much work can be done. We do not estimate normally for money. We say, okay, with this time, so now here, if you look at predictive projects, uh, predictive way of thinking, what is fixed? The fixed part is scope. And what happens in Agile? We say, what is fixed? Fixed part is schedule or iteration so iteration is of two weeks and then what is variable what do we estimate i estimate for what scope can go in what is variable here or what do i estimate i estimate how much money is gonna go in who's gonna do it resources uh, what is the schedule for it and so on so that's the reason both the thinking processes are different when we talk about agile projects so let's look at um, some of the roles and artifacts typically used in most of the agile methodology. The methodology which is picked up here is Scrum, um, which is used by many, many uh, organizations. 80% of the organization when they use agile, they are actually talking about Scrum or the methods which are based on Scrum. So there are three roles in agile projects. Um, one is product owner, the second role is team and third role is scrum master or project manager. So what happens, who does what? So let's talk about product owner. Who is this person? This person manages the product backlog. Now what is product backlog? Um, so there is a customer in case of uh, predictive pros projects. We have somebody who say, this who gives us specification or the scope so this guy says i want to get this website done or i want to get this car done i want to get this building done or whatever so there are some specification which customer gives me my team i'm the part of performing organization what is performing organization the organization which does the work which plans for work, which give estimate, then we do handshake and the work is getting executed here in this performing organization. Now with the changing spectrum, what has happened is a lot of things have started moving towards products. Think about lifts. So there is this company which makes lifts as a product. Um, think about Zoom as one of the, uh, you know, IT software. So somebody is thinking about what kind of features it should have. Um, think about any other product you have in mind. For example, uh, the iPhones which you have in your hand, the operating system um, on the iPhone is a product. The iPhone itself is a product. Um, MS Office, Excel, uh, MS Word, all of these are products. A, a car called a uh, Vento of any other car, all of, all of these are products. So um, when we think about product, we think about a company, a person who's thinking about what should be the future product releases should have. What is most valuable for the customer? How should I sell my product to mass users? What is that which my product how do I get more customers to use my product? So that's the thought process of a product owner. Um, so with this thought pro process, the product owner thinks about, you know, the feature list which the product owner gonna have. He or she gonna say, okay, let's let's say you are the product owner of Excel. You would say, okay, there is in memory. Um, you know in memory analytics which some of the companies are coming out and that's a threat for me so i should have in memory uh, compilation of pivot tables and stuff like that so that's one feature 
which product owner of Excel gonna have. Then you would have other features which are by looking at competitor analysis. So there are your competitors who are providing certain things which your product does not have. So few things gonna be added by looking at competitor analysis. Now since your product is there out in the market, there would be certain bugs which your product may have. So all these reports which the um, team gonna, you know, you would see that, you know, this thing is crashed and now do you want to inform Microsoft? So all these reports gonna be there and they have to be sorted as well. If there is a security bug, it has to be closed on priority. So there would be defects or uh, bugs which has to be closed. There may be certain regulation like um, personal information regulation which company may come up, uh, the organization or uh, the government may come up. So those are the regulation you as a product owner needs to fulfill. And there may be some other value enhancement which you thought about, your team thought about. So those has to be added as well. So the product backlog is the backlog of all the features or all the items which you need to release to the world later. So a product owner is the owner of what goes out to the market in the next releases for the users. Um, so the product owner's sole job is to ensure the product is acceptable, uh, relevant in the market and you provide value for the money which your users uh, put in to buy the product. There is another role called team or development team. Who are these people? So everybody in the team, they do not have any special title like architect and stuff like that. Everybody is the member, team member. They would have different skill set. We call them a skill set team. Why? Because the team is small, thin and lean and there are no major hierarchical structure. The idea is everybody should be able to overlap the work in case somebody is not there, the other person can pick the work and take it from there. So it's an idea, ideal team that people should have these skills. What is these skills? There should be breadth of skill and some unique skill which the person should have. Earlier we used to have um, for predictive projects, it makes sense that I would have a database specialist and this guy would be, uh, you know, used across many projects as DB specialist. And um, uh, there may be junior database uh, specialists which would work with this guy. Here we say, um, you may go ahead and get a DB specialist for reviewers, review, etc. But here a person would be a good team member if he knows some part of database triggers, etc some part of coding um, and a deep level of let's say testing here or somebody who has some information or some knowledge on database and testing and is a good coder or developer. So that way my team can work with each other even if one person is not there the other person can take over and does the work. So I would have a T skill of um, set of people who are gonna do the work within the team. So that's one uh, role, the team members who's gonna do the work. Then there is uh, the next role called Scrum Master. Now who is this guy? A Scrum Master is not a project manager from the uh, leadership point of view. The Scrum Master believes in servant leadership. Um, so this guy is a person Understand that you would have these team members who are highly skilled. They are good developers. Think of uh, Facebook uh, developer. Think of all these people who have been, you know, developing the softwares. So they started off being a developer. So if somebody comes and says, you know, this is how you need to plan. This is what you should be doing. Um, developer says, I have my own mind. I may be more brilliant than you. So instead of making me do things which I already know how to do, you help me get things done which I don't know how to get those things done. For example, arrange a web call or conference room for me. 
help me get resources to build XYZ services. So facilitate rather than, um, you know, dominating me. What should I do? What should I do? You become a servant leader. So a scrum master is supposed to be helping the team, facilitating the meetings and should work to help become team more productive uh, from the resources point of view. So um, some of the soft, some of the methodologies like Scrum uses the word called Scrum Master to talk about this role. Um, other methodologies like um, Disciplined Agile. Um, a few more methodologies uses Project Manager as the role. But the idea is that this guy should be a servant leader. So let's do let's play off Agile roles. Now let's see how much have you learned. Um, you can do the let's play from the book, which is past CAPM in 21 days, the study guide, or you can log into LMS and do the quizzes from there. All the best.